Hi, welcome to Train by Steph. Here's a health and wellness tip for you. So most of you have probably heard of what a foam roller is, but you may not actually know what one is. So these are foam rollers. They're basically a piece of styrofoam that you roll over. Um, they come in many different sizes, so this is a big one and this is just styrofoam. This is a shorter one and it's got um, kind of squishy material and it's um, plastic inside, so it's harder. Um, this one's kind of a more squishy material that has um, bumps on it. And then they have the foam roller sticks, so you can actually bring this with you when you travel and it can get in more specific areas. You basically use your body weight on it and it foam rolling does a lot of things. It's myofascial release. So basically it breaks up the knots that limit your range of motion, much, much like a deep tissue massage. It's not meant to feel good, especially if you're really active and you're using those muscles a lot. Um, it also improves your flexibility if you do it. It um, improves your circulation and it also flushes out toxins that are in your body. Everybody should be foam rolling, whether you're an athlete and your muscles are really tight and so it's going to loosen those muscles up, or if you're not active at all, it um, will provide the circulation in the muscles that you need. So I'm going to show you a couple different ways to foam roll. So I'm going to use the shorter one. So the biggest area that most people are tight on are their IT bands, which is the band that runs from your hip all the way down to your knee. So how to do this, you start out with it on your knee and you're going to put all your body weight on it and roll slowly all the way up to your hip and then you just go back and forth and if there's a spot that's really sore like right here for me you're just going to go a little bit back and forth to start breaking that up next is your quad so i'm just going to flip over and i'm going to put all my weight on my right quad and then just do the same thing all the way up to my hip, all the way down to my knee. And if there's a tight area, I mean you roll it. The next is your hamstring, so it's the back of your thighs. So you flip over. I like to sit on it first and then put my leg on top and then go all the way down to my knee. The roller stick is actually better for your hamstring, I think, and your calves because you control how much weight you put on it and you can really just roll all the way up if there's any tight spots and same with your calf. You can kind of roll it to the side, to the back, and the other side. And the thing about this is you put as much weight as you want. So if it's really sore, you can lightly roll it or you can really put your weight behind it. Then we're going to go onto your back. So start at kind of on your tailbone and then slowly roll, putting your weight on one side, get your low back and you can go all the way up to your shoulder. Sometimes it makes your back crack a little. If that's really sore, that's really helpful. Um, you could go side to side so you can flip the foam roller and lay on it this way and then focus on your scapula area so there's basically no right or there's no wrong way to foam roll it's basically whenever anything's sore you just put your body weight on it and slightly roll you can do your chest you can do your piriformis which is your butt muscle just sit on it roll back and forth and anything that you do on it will help your body. And sometimes when you first do it, it may feel like you want to cry because it hurts so bad. But I promise you that the more you foam roll, the easier it will be for you and the less it will hurt. And then maybe one day it won't hurt at all until you work those muscles again. So that's foam rolling.